Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So I hope everybody is doing well today and staying safe. I am super stoked for this video. Now today is 6 15, <clears throat> excuse me, 2023. Now, um, a couple weeks ago, I uh, was talking to Keith from Yarn Snob Yarns. <clears throat> if you do not know him, he is my favorite yarn dyer ever the best i have some that come close but he is my favorite anyways i'll put a link to his website below you have to check out his yarns there is amazing he even has a bag of a day color which i'll <clears throat> show you in an upcoming video but this one is special so i haven't opened it yet and i have not seen it i said i asked him not to show me a picture of them when they were finished because i like the element of surprise you know um so i sent him a picture of <clears throat> at the time my uh three dogs <clears throat> and three cats and my bunny and i asked him if he could dye me a powerball all in their likeness okay um i if you don't know i now have two more <laughs> shiba doodle dogs but at the time that i sent them i did not have those dogs but that's okay so i have uh i i'm gonna show you i'm so excited to see how well he did i'm just gonna open it because i'm so stoked to see what's in this box you do not know how excited i was i knew this was coming today because uh i looked at the tracking and i was sitting outside it's like super hot outside it's not hot in my house i have ac that's why i'm wearing a hat and everything but anyways it's super hot outside and i was just sitting there underneath the shade tree waiting for the ups man to come and bring me this box as soon as he dropped it off i drove out there on the golf cart picked it up drove it back and now i'm here because i cannot wait any longer all right, I'm so excited. You guys ready? I'll show you the picture I sent him too. Now, I don't have the, uh, <laughs> I use a very old editing software, so I can't put like this picture on the screen during a, during the video for some, cause I use really, I'm old school. I use really old stuff. It's not even made anymore, but I'll, I'll, I'll insert the picture and then I'll, sh then I'll show you the yarn and how well he did at matching the animal oh here we go here we go yeah i need to upgrade my editing software but i'm not big on change i like really don't like it so so uh i just use old stuff <laughs> when it comes to youtube here we go okay. i'm so excited i know that he I know that he did a wonderful job at matching my pets. Oh, oh gosh, here we go, here we go. Oh, he put a picture in the box so I could show you. That's amazing. I don't have to try to make my video. Oh, and the rat separately, he wrapped them. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, now, <laughs> so excited. I haven't been this excited about opening a box of yarn in a long time, I don't think. I don't know, I'm always excited, but this one is super exciting to me. Okay, so this is from Keith. It says, hi Crystal, I love doing this for you. I hope you can tell who is who. Love Keith, oh I'm certain I can. Oh, and it's gummies this time. Keith always sends candy. I like the pouch too. I think I have these gummies here. I bought a box. It's all right. I'll add more to my box of gummies. Those are the best gummies on the planet. Well, that you can buy at Walmart anyways. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Okay, why don't we start out with some that are, some of my animals that are a little okay oh, this is doug look he wrapped it and he put a picture now doug is a standard poodle and um he's brown there you see that that's that's what I, that's the picture i sent him and asked him if he could die in his likeness so that's douglas let's do it i love thank you keith if you're watching i love the way you packaged him separately <laughs> oh look at that let me get the tag off so do it he's so thoughtful to package him like that and put a picture on him 
There it is. There's Doug. And that looks a lot like Doug because Doug has a little bit of white on him right here. And he's also like got a frosty color to him like that. Those of you who watch my vlog know this looks like Doug. And you also know if you watch this channel that brown is my favorite color. And I figured that this would be my favorite one. But maybe not. This is absolutely outstanding, Keith. You did a wonderful job at matching a Doug up. Like I said, he's brown he's like light brown like this and he's got a little white on his uh chest here and keith captured that right there oh and it smells like keith's yarn keith's yarn is the best smelling yarn you'll ever ever smell your entire life so that's douglas love it keith thank you dougie dougie my standard poodle okay up next is let's do my bunny greg okay i have a netherland dwarf He's my old man. He's going on 11 years old now. And that's him. Don't mind that ball of yarn. I made him a sweater out of that and then he chewed it up. So that's Greg. He only weighs about three pounds. He's the smallest bunny, a breed of bunny. So that's what he looks like. You know, he's pretty black with some little, I don't know. He's a Siamese Netherland dwarf. That's what he is. That's, that's what he is. So for, any, for any of those interesting bunnies. Bunnies are my favorite animal too. So. Oh gosh, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. I love this one too. He captured the brown in and it's not the thing about the Siamese. They are black, but you see the brown coat on him, right? They have black faces, but or really, really dark brown. But then their coat has that light brown. I wasn't sure if Keith would just dye it straight black or not. But he didn't. Look at that. Oh my gosh, Keith. That's amazing. I love this one too because it's brown. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Like I said, don't mind that ball, that ball of yarn there. That looks like him. In all of Greg's glory. That he got the brownness in him. I kept thinking, I bet Keith is going to dye him all black. Because it's, you know. But he didn't. He got the dark brown of him and that light brown Siamese look of him. That's what makes him the Siamese, that light brown that he has on his fur. Beautiful. So, like, here's his face. And then it goes out to his body. Thank you so much, Keith. I love it. <laughs> it's brown. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Who are we going to do next? Who are we going to do? Want to do a cat? Let's do a cat. Okay. Um, this one is Rob. So Rob's pretty basic. He's gray. This is Robert. He's my oldest kitty. He's eight years old. But my gosh, is he not handsome? <laughs> so this is a picture I sent Keith. But like I said, he's pretty, he's pretty basic. But let's see what Keith did for Rob. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it. That's the thing about Rob, too. When you comb him, he's different colors. Or when you brush him, he turns to be different colors of gray. You can see he does have some small patches of a little bit of brown in there. Keith picked up on that and got it. Oh, my gosh. Look at it. That's amazing, Keith. That's Robert all the way. That's my Robbie boy. Oh, my gosh. Wonderful job. I love that one. Oh, I'm making hat. I think I'm going to make hats and scarf sets out of all these. Because um, they're... I didn't even tell you. These are uh, power balls from Keith. And they are 100% all of these. 100% superwash merino. And they're a four weight. There's 500 grams or 1,090 yards Custom milled in Italy and hand dyed in Florida by Keith. So from Yarn Somb Yarns. I love the power balls. I'm super addicted to the power balls. I always say I keep two to three totes of yarn. Um, two totes are full of power balls. <laughs> Anyways, I think I was trying to decide what I was going to do with all these. And since they're in likeness of my... This is so beautiful. I, I can't believe you picked up that brown in Rob. Because it's very subtle. But you got it. Amazing. 
Um, I thought that I would make a hat and scarf set out of all these. And then I can wear my animals in my likeness. Or in their likeness around me. This, uh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. It's not what I expected. I kind of just thought you would do it solid gray, you know. But you, d you didn't do that. You really took the time to look at this picture and match him up. Every color of him. You got that little bit of brown in him. That's very subtle. Oh, it's beautiful. You got, you, yeah. He's got some light and some dark gray in him. Oh, I'm so excited. I have seven. Well, I have nine animals now, but I did have seven at the time. So, uh, let's do another kitty cat. Now, this is my kitty cat, Mabel. She's my youngest kitty. We actually found her in our bushes when she was four weeks old. And now she is uh, four years old. So, she is the, our only girl kitty. And she hates everybody in our house except for my middle son. She loves him. She kisses him, loves on him, sleeps on him. Now, if I go to pet her or anybody else, I'll end up in the ER with scratches and cuts all over me. But I still love her nonetheless. So this is her. She's a really tiny kitty, too. Um, she's full grown, but she's like the smallest full grown cat I've ever seen in my life. So look at her. You can see she's kind of a basic tabby. That's Mabes. Okay, let's see what she looks like. Oh, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. I know I keep saying that about all of them. I guess I just, I, don't, I didn't know what to expect. I kind of thought that Doug, that I didn't know that he, he was really going to study those pictures and pick up on every color that was in them. Rob's, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Look at that. That's Mabes. He got her brown in her gray, in her black. Oh, that's so beautiful, Keith. You're amazing. He even made it look like uh, tabby looking. Look at that. That is amazing. I did not expect that at all from Mabel. I, I, like I said, I, I don't know. I just thought they would just be like, Doug would be solid brown and that you wouldn't pick up on any of his light tones or his whites. And I had no, I didn't think you would pick up on that little spot of brown on Rob or his little light tones, but you did. <laughs> Dude. A Mabel is amazing. This one could be my favorite so far. <clears throat> as much as I love brown, this one is absolutely spot on to Mabel. Mabes, you hate me, but I love you. Oh, I think maybe I'll make my son in a hat a scarf out of this since Mabel's his baby. My middle son, Alex, gosh. They are just two peas in a pod, these two. They don't go anywhere without each other. They're always together. They always say, <clears throat> pets have pick a favorite. And, but usually, you know, they like the other people. Most of the time, they like the other people in the family. Just not as much as that one. She only likes my son, Alex. So, that one is super, super gorgeous. I'm just so stoked. It's so nice. Okay. Um, let's do my puppy, George. So, George is a... Morky. He is a uh, uh, Yorkie Maltese mix. He actually has, I did a DNA test on him. He actually has like more, sorry about that. I put a yarn ball on top of my computer. He actually has a more uh, Maltese name than he does Yorkie, but that's what George looks like. Um, he's about a year, he turned a year in April of this year. Um, and he's about 10 pounds. He's my tiny little man. So he has like white, cream, blacks, grays, browns, kind of, I don't know. He's just kind of a mixture of all different colors. But he's adorbs and I love him to death. Okay. I'm <laughs> just getting excited <clears throat> to see the rest. Uh. Yep, you got George. You got him. Look at that. You got George. Oh, it's so great. Look at it. He's got the cream that's in his face. The gray that's on his back. It's beautiful, Keith. Georgie. I love it. I love it. You did a very good job on that one, too. Oh. That's my little... 
It's my little Georgie. Yep, that's him. Beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> Thank you, Keith. I love all these. I still got two more. Okay, I got a dog and a cat left. Let's check them out. Let's see. Okay, so this is my Bloodhound Clark. Right there. You guys, that's George barking right now. Okay. Um, now, Clark's a Bloodhound. <clears throat> and he's my oldest of all my pets. No, he's not. He's my oldest dog. He is five. He'll be six this year. So, that's kind of uh, older for a Bloodhound. But, he is an amazing dog. He's a big, big dog, uh, but he's very beautiful too, as well. So let's see what he looks like. Excited. <laughs> oh, wow, that's gorgeous. Look at that. That is gorgeous. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous yarn. Thank you so much, Keith. Thank you so much. That is so, look at that copper color. That is beautiful. That's Clark. There's his saddleback right there because he has, <clears throat> he's a bloodhound with the saddleback. And then he's, they call it red, but copper color. Look at that. Beautiful. You got Clark. You nailed him. That is a beautiful, beautiful color right there. Man, <clears throat> excuse me. I got allergies today real bad. I love this color in general by itself, but with the black, it's even, it's like, yeah, uh, yeah, that's beautiful. That is gorgeous. I can't pick a favorite. I can't. I can't. I love them all. And you match them all so well to, to them. You picked up on so much detail. Okay. There's my bloodhound. All right, I got one more left. And if you guys have been following me for a long time, you know Steve, my kitty, is the mascot of my channel. <laughs> oh, Steve <clears throat> is, um, he'll be seven years old at the end of this year. Now, he is half Maine Coon. You can probably tell by the picture. Half Maine Coon and half uh, Tabby. So that's what he is. He's a big cat. He weighs about 28 pounds. He is so huge, but he is the nicest cat in the entire world. He loves everybody, and he likes to sleep in my bed at night. He is, he likes to sleep on my chest, but he's so heavy, I have to kick him off after a while. But he is so cute. So, I always say Steve's the mascot of Bag of Day. If you follow me on Facebook, he's the cover photo of my Facebook page on, for uh, Bag of Day. Okay. Let's see what Steve looks like. Oh. It's beautiful. Oh. It's beautiful. My orange little half Maine Coon. Yellow, yellowish orange. That's beautiful. Thank you very much, Keith. I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. It gets darker up in here. I'm just looking around at it. That is gorgeous color. It's summery like. That's pretty. Oh, got the white on his chest there. And you got his orangey yellow there appearance. Very, very nice. I love it. Oh, and he's got white fist, white feet. Got that. See, there's more white up inside of there. Oh, even brighter white up in there because he's got the white pads or white socks on all his feet. And then his white chest. This is gorgeous. Oh, gosh. I love them all. Keith, I want to say thank you very much for accommodating my request. You've always been so kind to me. And I don't really know how I could ever repay you for your kindness. Um, but thank you very much. Um, each one of these are super gorgeous. I couldn't have asked for anything more. Um, they're all very, very pretty. And I don't even think I could pick a favorite. I couldn't. They all look so much like my, my, my pups and my kitties and my bun. You picked up on all the colors that, you know, I didn't even think that you would notice. You know, especially with Rob and, you know, you got the little hints of brown in him and Greg, my bunny. 
I mean, you just got them. Spot on. Clark is gorgeous. They're all so pretty. And Georgie's so good. Looks so good. Mabel is absolutely stunning. Love that one a lot. Very tabby cat looking. I love them all. Doug, I think I said them all. All of them are wonderful. Thank you so much for doing it and noticing all the little bits of color that they had that most people probably wouldn't even have noticed. And like, you know, I look real close at the picture and I can tell that you did that. Thank you. And I appreciate it. Like I said, you've done so much for me and I can't pick a favorite. I love them all equally and I'm going to save them. And I think I'm going to make them a hats and scarf sets for this winter so I can wear them. And Mabel, I'll make my son a hat and scarf set since she only loves him. I still love her though. But she, <laughs> she hates me. Anyway, <laughs> all my other animals love me. Anyways, this was so much fun. I had a good time. Um, like I said, I haven't been so excited. Um, to open a box in so long. You did an amazing job with all of them. And, uh, oh, I, you know, I can't recommend Keith enough. I always highly recommend him. He is a fabulous, fabulous yarn dyer. And it's not just that, too. His yarn is amazing to work with. The base that he uses is outstanding for the, the worst of the way. I, I never use any other base. Of it. Well, I have other bases, like a linen cashmere base. I think I haven't used it yet, though. But the worst is absolutely stunning. I have um, lots of things made out of his power balls on my channel, and you don't know you don't have to get power balls. He sells small hanks too. So many different colors um, that he has on his website. I'm gonna put the link below. Please go check him out. I mean, you won't be disappointed with if you get a hank of his yarn, and um, I promise you won't. You'll be. And make sure you smell it because it's the best smelling yarn that you're ever going to smell. It's, I know it has to do with this dyeing process, but I could smell, I could pick up Keish yarn just by the smell. I could. It's just amazing. I'm so excited. Thank you, Keith. And thank you everybody for watching. Okay. Check the link out below for a uh, key shop. Go look it over. See what all he has to offer. He's got a lot. Like I said, not just power balls. He's got regular Hanks of yarn um as well and fingering weight and bulky weight and and everything that you could ever want so i'm gonna see you guys on my next video so excited i'm gonna go show these to my uh to my kids and my animals i'm gonna be like look what keith made it matches you all right see you guys later okay bye